Hello there and welcome back to some more Silly Car Showdown today and we are taking a look at the Cadillac XDS Limousine. This car was requested by Afternoon 7 and oh dear, it is certainly a limousine, it's big, it's not, it was introduced in Forza Motorsport 6 and the griefing community has never been the same since. Yeah, it, it's ridiculous. It's also in a Horizon game finally so we can play around with it. Right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the engine swaps. This is front wheel drive, bear in mind. The options are an 8.4 litre V10 from a Viper, a 7 litre V8 Hemi engine, a 6.5 litre V12, a racing V12, and a 4 rotor out of a 787B. Yeah. Now, in the pursuit of making this the most powerful front wheel drive car, Ever, we're going to stick the V12 in it and we're going to put twin turbos on it. Yes, it's the same engine I used in the Gremlin, but now you can have a 1500 horsepower front wheel drive car. Of course, in accordance to this series, not like it would make that much of a difference, uh, we cannot have any Forza Aero to help this car out at all. Also, I apologise for the game constantly freezing up. I'm not quite sure why it keeps doing that. Right, tyres. Well, I mean, there's 285s. I'll, I'll give it that. I don't think it's going to help it, but. It has 205s, which is something. Uh, right, the way that reduced the top speed makes me wonder if the gearbox is fucked. Although, again, don't think that's really going to help. Uh, we're going to stick the big brakes on it. We are going to stick the race suspension on it, lower it to the ground. Looks completely ridiculous now. We're going to put, I'm assuming, the world's biggest roll cage into this thing. And we will go for the weight reduction, which does reduce a fair amount of weight. And unlike most front-wheel drive cars, that doesn't actually affect the launch negatively, which is something. All right, the PI is climbing, which is odd considering it's front-wheel drive, but you know, it's what it is. Uh, there's the big turbos, and there's the intercooler for 1,515 horsepower, 1,101 foot-pound torque, 4,698 pounds of weight, 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds, and a top speed of 252 miles per hour. Oh, bloody dear. Right. We are going to take a quick look at the gear ratios before we set off, just in case. Yeah, those don't actually look too bad. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're sticking with them. 252 miles an hour, 1500 horsepower, front wheel drive, Cadillac limo. I think this is going to go about as well as you'd expect. Well, to find out just how many levels of awful this can be, we are uh, once again at our snowy Edinburgh track. Just before we set off, I'd like to give a shout out to Sabre, aka Just Orang, for starting this race, because Azza decided to go to bed, because Azza's an arse. Uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, this car is going to give five laps to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is a Honda Civic NSX R GT Hybrid, which set the time of 142.500. This 1500 horsepower front wheel drive limousine, unlikely to beat that. In all honesty, uh, the closest thing to this car is actually the Bentley with the V10 in it. That was a 156.054. If this can get close to that, uh, that would be a miracle because, again, 1500 horsepower front wheel drive. Hold on. It's not bad. What? <laughs> it's not even having that much wheel spin. I am so confused. It, it It's front wheel drive, it's got 1500 horsepower, why is it doing this? I mean, it's not massively quick, as you can see there, 100 and... 48 miles an hour, that's, you know, cadet speed. Pretty average, but still not the fastest car we've had, but why is it handling well? What is this? Why is this? The gear ratios are very long. I had a funny feeling the gearbox was fucked. It's actually, sort of, as I drive it, I realised the gear ratios are actually quite tall, but on a car like this, it probably helped. Through the switchback, it's not going to be quick, because it's a limo. Uh, it's huge. Don't know if you've realised that. The arse end of it is somewhere in Turkey. So, 
yeah, it's hardly going to be the most maneuverable vehicle, uh, which is one of my many issues I thought I'd be having with this car, but uh, it's actually not bad. Like, it's actual cornering and stuff, it's alright. Flooring it, it's not too bad. Uh, it wheel spins up to about halfway through third gear and stops, so 154.250 means it's already beaten the Bentley, which I thought it would struggle to beat. This thing is very strange. It's very nice to drive. It, it's weird. It is very weird getting used to the size of it. Usually I'm used to turning a lot later than what I'm turning in this, because I have to remember the front end is somewhere in Alaska compared to the R10, which I can actually see, so... But then again, I mean, you could remedy that by doing cockpit view or whatever. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not that much a fan of uh, cockpit mode in the Horizon games. It's too zoomed in and the camera doesn't really lend itself to bouncing around and all the rest of it too well. But yeah, I mean, it, it's ridiculously controllable. What is this? What? You've got 1500 horsepower, you're the most powerful front wheel drive car in Forza history. Why are you not having issues? Why are you good? What is this? It's the confusing Cadillac, that's what it is. Yeah, this is... Very strange indeed. Did I miss that checkpoint? Yes I did. Bollocks and cocks. But hey, I, I had a sneaking suspicion I did. Unfortunately, this thing isn't any wider. If it was wider, then you know, we would have hit the checkpoint, but apparently we didn't, but it doesn't really matter, because we've still got quite a few laps, and it's done better than anyone would ever expect it to. So if that's the case, uh, I'm going to say its next aim should be a 152.213. That's where the Nismo Sentra sits, because the previous most powerful front-wheel drive car we ever had. Uh, this is, yeah, ridiculous. It's stupid. It's great. It's good. I like it. <laughs> I, I, like, don't get me wrong, I'm confused by it. I was expecting this to be awful, and it's not. And it confuses me that it's as good as it is, but I'm not complaining. Car, that's awful to drive. Because cars that are awful to drive aren't very good. Obviously, that's why they're awful to drive. Yeah, this thing's good. This thing's nice. It's... Scary. Scary is another good word for it. Not scary in the sense that it's scary to drive. It's scary in the sense that it's scary that it drives this well. It's the best handling front-wheel drive car I've driven around here. It's better handling than the RSX. It handles its power better than the RSX. And it has three times the power the RSX had. It's... Ridiculous. You can barely feel the fact that it's front wheel drive. It genuinely feels more like a four wheel drive car. It's incredible. It, it, it truly is mind blowing how good it is. Yeah. Not a lot of sense in uh, this one, but yeah. certainly confusing, I'll give it that. I don't know what I can call it, the luscious limo, ludicrous limo, ludicrous limo? I guess that could work. Hopefully people don't misinterpret that as the actor. But yeah, or I should say rap artist initially, but let's be honest, I haven't really got much of a rap career anymore. More about fast and, are you kidding me? A 149.012, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's quicker than the Civic. What is this? I mean... I, I, is it going to beat the Cayman? The bloody Cadillac limo. Of all things. Of all the things in the world that could do well being front wheel drive and ridiculously powerful. Cadillac limo was not what I had in mind. But, apparently it's very good and quick and... I am speechless for how good this is. You know, stuff like the Subaru 
and stuff. It was very impressive that it got those times, but I knew the Subaru was going to be good. The Honda Civic, it's very impressive it got the time it did, a 149. It was very impressive, but, you know, I had a sneaking suspicion that would have actually been quite nice to drive because it had two 75s on the front. This thing should not be this good. It just shouldn't be. I can't remember what size the tyres are on the front of this. I think it might be two 75s as well. Yeah, it, it should not be as good as it is. But it is because it's ridiculously... It, it's just nuts. I have nothing. I have nothing but confusion for this vehicle. It's very good. It's scary how good it is. I mean, if you've got a limo in your garage and you haven't tried to do something with it, apparently it might be time to have a go because apparently it might be a really good driving car with front wheel drive. Uh, I think stock, they're quite lazy cars to drive. But, I mean, if, any, if today proves anything, sometimes cars that are ridiculously lazy to drive normally are actually pretty good bets for stuff like this because they're really lazy when stock and with a lot of power in them it sort of livens them up a bit but because they're so lazy and easy to drive but not particularly quick before you sort of just get the extra speed so I don't know if that made any sense I'd be amazed but anyway let's be honest this makes no bloody sense as to why it's this quick one of the nicest handling cars we've ever had, by far and away the nicest handling front wheel drive car is the most powerful front wheel drive car we've ever had because it has a 1515 horsepower Lamborghini twin turbo V12 underneath the bonnet and it's front wheel drive and it's... yeah. Nothing makes sense anymore. Is this the real life? Is this just reality? There is no escape from the virtual world when it comes to this one. Yeah. One of the most genuinely... Maybe the most genuinely surprising car I have ever built in Forza history. The V12 front-wheel drive Cadillac Limousine gets a 147.977. It is quicker than a Porsche Cayman GTS. It goes, and I can't believe I'm saying this, it's fifth place. It goes in between the GT40 EcoBoost and the Cayman GTS. It is over a second up on the only other V12 car that's taken on this track yet, the AMC Gremlin. It's over a second quicker than the previously fastest front wheel drive car which we only just crowned in the last episode, the Civic RS. It's... Uh, I, I, I don't know anymore. Nothing is real. Reality is dead. Nothing is real. The XTS limo has shattered pretty much anything anyone thought about it, so... Um, if you haven't tried the XTS limo, I guess now might be a time to dig out your garage and build it up because apparently this thing can do things no nothing else front wheel drive can. Hmm. Anyways, if you want to surprise me with a car request, you can do so down below. Or if you don't want to surprise me and you just want to find out how ridiculous it is, uh, you can comment down below with your car request in e on either my video or on the video on HG Central. It's of course co-hosted. Alternatively, you can join the link in, or you can press the link in the description and join my Discord server where there's a request chat. I'd prefer if you put it in there just because it keeps everything in a nice area. And if you want me to 100% see your request instead of 95% uh, see your request, then uh, that is definitely a place to do it. If you are on in HG Central, and I can actually slalom almost in this thing at full throttle, it's ridiculous. Anyways. If you've enjoyed this video, if you're watching this on HG Central, it's the first time you've heard my voice, if you want to come check out my channel, it's in the link in the description. I produce 
3 out of 10 content, which is nowhere near as good as the Cadillac limousine, apparently, and that for that reason, you shouldn't, but you should. Anyways, just, just do it, because you can. Anyways, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Never, ever judge a book by its cover, and until next time, farewell.